Are you encountering the error? The procedure entry point could not be located in the dynamic link library? The solutions are as follows. Solution 1. Reinstall the program. The first solution is to reinstall the problematic program. Right-click on the Start button and select Settings from the menu. In the Settings menu, go to the Apps tab on the list on the left-hand side. In the right pane, select Installed Apps. Scroll down to the problematic app. Click on the three dots associated with it. Select Uninstall. Once the app is uninstalled, you can reinstall it from the App Creator's website. Go to the website of the Creator to download and install the application. Solution 2. Run an SFC scan. Search for Command Prompt in the Windows search bar and select Run as Administrator in the right pane to open the Elevated Command Prompt window. In the Elevated Command Prompt window, type the command SFC space forward slash SCANNOW and hit Enter to invoke the SFC scan. Reboot the system once the scan is completed. Solution 3. Re-register the DLL file. The third solution is to re-register all DLL files. Search for Command Prompt in the Windows search bar. When the option appears, click on Run as Administrator in the right pane. This will open the elevated Command Prompt window. Now, copy-paste the command line to re-register all DLL files from the associated article on the original website to the elevated Command Prompt window. Hit Enter to execute the command. Solution 4. Check details in Event Viewer. Search for Event Viewer in the Windows search bar. Open the Event Viewer application from the list. Do you notice any error on the list? If yes, then you will have to counter that error first. Isn't this easy and interesting? If you have any doubts, please go to the original article on the Windows Club and write your query. We will surely answer it. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.